Hello, my angels. So I just received this uh, a little, oh, I received it a while ago, like maybe six months ago, but it expires in 2026. It's violets or blue. It's an ultraviolet facial serum. And when I tell you this is the most natural product I have ever seen or tried or has come across my life other than things that I buy when I'm in other countries. And it came with a lip balm. The lip balm is just oils, beeswax, and um, tocopherol, which is vitamin E. And this is just pure oils and tocopherol, which is vitamin E. No preservatives, no extra chemicals, nothing else. I love it. Am I putting this on my skin? Absolutely not. I will not put it on my face, but I will put it on my body. So I'll use it as like a hand cream or like a hand oil, um, a body oil, etc. Just because I want, and I don't like a lot of oils. I'll use oils every now and then, but I do feel that they, for me, this is not rooted in truth or fact. It's just alleged. It's my personal opinion on my skin. If I use an oil too often, then, then my skin becomes even drier. So it helps the first time, but if I use it on a consistent basis, it does the opposite. I don't know why I have naturally dry skin, but if I use other creams like petroleum jelly based creams or things like that, my skin tames tends to retain moisture and actually stay natural and I don't have to use the product as long. Like I could just use it one day and then two or three days later I don't really need it because my skin is still moisturized. Whereas if I use an oil on a consistent basis, it doesn't do, you know, like it just makes my skin drier. But this is also good for your hair because it's just oils. Like literally it is evening primrose oil. It has the, the, the long name, but I'm just going to give you the short ones. Evening Primrose Oil, Jojoba, Rose Hip, Argon, um, Carrot Seed, Non-GMO non GMO Mix Tocopherol, which is the vitamin E, and Lavender Oil. That's it. That's all that's in here. Pure as the rain. Like, so I'm impressed with this company. I'm actually going to, you know, take a look. If anybody from this company wants to send me anything, all my information is in the description box. I will proudly and with joy promote and try any of your products as long as they're still along that natural line without all of these preservatives and chemicals. Um, do I use products with preservatives and chemicals? Absolutely. <laughs> yes, I do. But I'm trying to get away from that. Not fully, but partially, you know, and I really like their lip balm. It feels really nice. It is a little bit, it's not greasy. It's not oily, but there's like a, not a residue, some people might say it's a little oily. I don't think it's oily because I, I like petroleum jelly. So I like that kind of texture, but it's, it is a little bit slipper. It's more slippery than a petroleum jelly based product because it's just oils, beeswax and vitamin E. Um, but I do like it and I'm going to see how it works overall. If you want my long-term review on this, because on this channel, I do a lot of unboxings and openings and sometimes I'll come back and do like a full review. But I write all of my reviews on my website, givemethelook.com. You can go to the blog section. I'm going to be posting majority of the things in 2025. It's 2024 right now. I've already written everything. Like, it's all there. And I have the pictures. I just need to post it. You know? So I'm, I'm actually debating on getting an assistant because I could do the work. It's just the social media stuff. Which is... You know, like I can build a website, I can create all the accounts, but linking them and then posting on them. And that's, I don't want to spend my time posting, even though I know that's where the money's at. Um, I don't mind posting my videos, but that's why I don't edit them. So just so you know, when you watch this channel, they're all unedited videos. They're all real. You're never going to see me go like this and then come back and then you're going to see something else. Maybe once in a while, if the camera dies or something like that happens, which hardly ever happens, or if the video is too long and I'm trying to make a short, but there's usually a long video that the short is referenced from, if that makes sense. So I like this line so far. Um, let me actually, I try the lip balm. Let me actually try this on my hands. It looks like this. I'm pouring it in my hands. Apply a few drops to face and neck. I might use it as a neck cream, but I'm not putting it on my face. <laughs> It just smells like oils, like, you know, like a little bit like castor oil, which I'm not a fan of the smell of castor oil. It doesn't have a pleasant smell because it's just oils, but I would probably spray perfume over it. And if you did want it to have a pleasant smell, you would have to add fragrance. So depending on the type of fragrance, if it's an essential oil, I think you should be fine. But if it's like a, 
fragrance, it might have chemicals, which then takes this away from what the company stands for. And let me just read to you what this said, which is what kind of, I was going to sell this on Mercari until I read what it said. And then I looked at the ingredients. So this little pamphlet came with it and it says, it's, uh, everything's usually in glass. Uh, so it keeps on giving. And then it says, when I was diagnosed with breast cancer, not me, this is the person whose company this is. I began looking at products, um, at the products I put on my skin. I was shocked to learn that many natural products contain things. And it says natural with quotes contain things that weren't that. So I just decided to go back to the basics and design my own skincare line, which is exactly what I'm doing made from all natural and organic ingredients. I quickly realized these products would benefit those of us with aging skin and especially women going through cancer treatment. I love this. Who must find skincare they can trust. I love this. And it says 10% of the profits help women undergoing treatment at Mount Sinai Hospital um, feel beautiful in their own skin. We donate care packages of our beloved skincare line. When you love your skin back uh, with our products, you help these women feel restored and revived in the greatest of times. Cynthia Besteman, founder, in case you're looking for her. Um, I, I love the message. I love the concept. I love that it's free from parabens, sulfates, artificial fragrances, always natural, vegan, cruelty free, made in the United States. And it is a hundred percent recyclable. Recyclable. And then they talk about, um, you know, why they use glass packaging. I said the same thing. I didn't want plastic. I was looking at aluminum packaging and I was talking to a lot of the providers at the, um, they have like a makeup expo at the Jacob Javits center. And I had, I had my own skincare line for a very short period of time. Um, in 2003 to 2006, like, you know, I made things at home like shea butter and I, I whipped it and then I made my own, um, room sprays with essential oils. Um, it's simple. You can make your own room spray. I'll tell you, you just vodka, water, and essential oils. You have a room spray, you know, and then you can buy fragrance oils, but with fragrance, you know, you have chemicals and whatnot. Um, but everything I did was essential oils and shea butter. Um, but it was, it was refined shea butter because I didn't like the smell of the raw shea butter. I wanted it to not have a smell other than what I put in. Um, but the problem was when you whip it, it's beautiful. But when you ship it to like Arizona and California, it melted and it turned into oil and that didn't work for me. And I used a lot of aluminum packaging at the time. And I found that after like three to six months, it started to rust and I don't know why. So when I was talking to these manufacturers now, they're like, it shouldn't have rusted. You know, obviously they were saying I bought a cheap product, but I didn't know I was, I was in my twenties. I was like 22, 23. I was really excited. I was starting this, you know, line and I wanted to like, you know, grow it and whatever. And I was just testing it out. And then I just saw like it cost too much money back then. They didn't have ice packs available the way that they do now. They didn't have these temperature controlled products that you can put in a box, which are now easily accessible. So now I'm thinking, let's go back and try it because I really do want to trust. I want to make my own skincare products at home, first of all, but I really do want to trust what I'm putting on my skin. And I really don't trust a lot of the things that are going on now. And I always did, but now I'm learning so much and I'm not going to, I want you guys to do your own research on the products and the, look at the ingredients and type in the ingredients before you put it on your skin. And don't get me wrong. If something smells good, I'm going to buy it and put it on. I don't care what ingredients are on it. It's one time, like whatever, you know what I mean? I, I you know, like a lot of the, the perfumes that we buy that are expensive, like from Christian Dior, Louis Vuitton, they have BHT. Look that up. BHT. Look it up. I'm not saying anything about it, but just look it up. Um, and a lot of these expensive perfume lines and skincare lines have BHT. It actually helps to um, less than the oxidation process of oil because there's an oil in the product, but I'm not going to get into it. Just look it up, baby. Look it up. So I like this company. I'm not endorsing it and saying, go out there and buy it. I'm saying I like it and it's an oil. I don't use oils often, but when I do want to use an oil, cause my skin is like super dry, uh, I would probably use petroleum jelly, but sometimes I will use like a, an oil. Sometimes, and this is also good for curly girls. If you just want to add oil to your hair or you want to, you know, add some shine, 
I think this is pretty cool. So that's my hair for you guys. Let me know what your thoughts are. Until next time. Bye.